Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and I am super excited to work out with you today. For today, we have a really special workout collaboration with myself and Sean Veig. So I'm going to start you off with a warm up and cardio. We're going to be doing primarily standing exercises. It's going to be lit, which is low impact interval training. So not tons of jumping. Although of course, if you want to amp up the intensity, you can modify things like a squat for a squat jump, um, things like that throughout. And I'll kind of cue you in case you want to amp up the volume. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. We're going to be setting our interval timers for 15 rounds, 10 seconds of rest, 50 seconds, as many repetitions as you can get in. So feel free to outpace me. I'm currently 11 weeks pregnant, so I'm gonna be really pacing myself and talking to you guys through it. Don't be afraid to push even harder than I am. Breathe heavy, sweat a lot. Even though it's low impact, that does not mean it's low efficacy. It's gonna be a very efficient workout. Are you guys ready? So I have my timer set. We're going to have 20 seconds of prep time. The first exercise is a march. So we're just going to be marching in place. Let me set this down um, to get our blood flowing, get our bodies warmed up. 10 more seconds of prep. So high knees marching. Belly's going to pull in. So you're working that abdomen even during these exercises. Throw these on because it's really setting. Okay. Let me see if I can get a shady spot to march in. <laughs> Good job guys, so breathe. Belly pulls in the whole time. And if you want higher intensity, run in place, your choice. Pick the intensity that is right for you today. Good job guys, keep going. Pick up the pace a little bit, letting our bodies get warm. Doing great. Almost there. Two, one, good job. Next high impact version is jumping jacks. Lower impact is gonna be a step out. So we'll step side in, side in. Your choice. Here we go. Core strong again throughout the movement. <laughs> Maverick, go ask Olivia to open it. My son found me in the background, so if you hear voices, <laughs> that's what's going on. Keep going, guys. Almost there. Two, one. Low impact burpee is next. High impact, if you want it, is squat, jump, push up, jump, jump. Low impact, step. Step, step, push up is optional. Step, step, onto the toes. Core is strong. Doing good, guys. Keep going. What's doing? Mom, I don't eat. Okay. Whew. Next we have sumo squat twist. All one side. So we're going to squat, elbow to knee. So twisting the upper body. All one direction. Toes turn slightly out. Feet a little bit more than hip distance apart. Good job, guys. 
fun Almost there. Other side, so shake it out, rest. Same exact thing, other direction. Upper body twist. Doing great. Keep moving. Whoop. <laughs> I tried to look at the timer and lost balance. Good job, guys. Next, we have speed skater. So, we're going to be stepping out, touching, stepping out, touch. If you want it higher intensity, you're gonna really hop. Low is gonna be step, step. Good job, guys. Butt reaches back. Doing great. Press that butt back behind you. Good job, almost there. Whew. Okay, next we have an air squat. Higher impact is gonna be a squat jump. Low impact, we're just squatting in place. Squeeze. So press those hips forward for full hip flexor extension and squeeze the glutes under every time. Core pulls in. Good job, guys. Doing fantastic, keep moving. Press into it. Hopefully those legs, powerhouse muscles in your body are getting a little fatigued by now. Okay, next we have a table kick. So we're gonna balance on one foot. Leg is gonna come, try and keep it parallel to the ground. We're gonna kick. Okay, try and keep that balance. If you have something you can hold on to for balance, that's totally fine. So feel these outside muscles of the thigh and hip and, and glutes really working. Good job, guys. Whew. Struggling for that balance. Just keep moving. Movement is a real gift, so whatever your body is capable of today, be thankful for it. Good job, same thing, other leg, shake it out. Find that balance. Here we go, find the balance. Good job. Whoa. <laughs> Back into it, guys. 
15 seconds left. That standing leg's really working too. <laughs> Good job, keep going guys. Okay, next we have a Warrior Three Pulse. So we're going to come into Warrior Three. Whoops, if I could keep my balance. Find the balance, hands under your heart. Whoops, and you're gonna pulse that back leg. Standing leg. Core strong. If you wanna add a little extra, arm stretch. Good job, guys. I feel the burn. I hope you do too. Oh, I need to shake it out for a second. Almost over, guys. Less than 10 seconds. Oh. Okay, other side. I think I lost that one. Less than 10 seconds to balance issues. Here we go. right back into it. We'll start on this side, we'll move to the next. Here we go. Good job, guys. Doing great. Moving. Knees facing forward when you reach. Good job, we're almost there. Other side next. Shake it out if you need to. <sighs> These rest breaks feel nice. <laughs> Here we go. job guys keep going we're getting close to the end We're gonna go chair, twist, toes, other side. Twist, toes, other side. Core strong. The eye muscles might be burning, that's a good thing. Biggest muscles in your body, so it's a great burn. Excellent job, keep going. 
Almost there. Last five seconds, I think. <laughs> there we go, last exercise. We're back to the march, so we're finishing out, cooling down our bodies to get ready for Sean Vig's Pilates portion of the workout. So we're gonna get strength and stretch and cool down with him. So let your heart rate come down a little bit. And then when you're done with me, we're gonna get down on the mat with Sean. And he's gonna take you through an awesome workout. But I hope you enjoyed the first half of today's workout with me. Let us know in the comments what you think of the collaboration. And if you guys wanna see more collaborations between the two of us in the future. <sighs> Almost there, guys. Feels good to let my body warm or cool down. Okay, guys. <sighs> Saved by the bell. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Like I said, please let us know in the comments what you thought and get ready for Sean. He has a fantastic workout ready for you. So, Sean, take it away. Thank you, Melissa. Friends, it's Coach Vig. Are you ready for a Pilates core? Workout all body weight, then moving into a nice stretching cool down. Breathe in the nose and out the mouth for the core workouts, the Pilates workouts. And I am filming from beautiful West Salem, Wisconsin. Let's come down for the single leg stretch 100. Bring the right knee in, left leg out, arms to the side, shoulders back and down, palms flat. We're gonna pump the arms in and out, up and down, four to six inches, breathe in for five, out for five. Here we go. One, two, Two, three, going to a hundred, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, last set, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take the legs out, hold for a moment, bring the arms in, shoulders back and down, engaging the core, the abdominals, lower back, hips and glutes, point the feet, moving into single leg circles. Right leg up, left leg out or foot flat, arms to the sides or hands behind the head. 10 times, let's circle to the right. Size of a Frisbee, inhale, exhale, slow burn. Two, Ooh, three, Four, the core is the anchor. Five, inhale around, exhale on top. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now let's go the other direction. Stabilize, take a moment, take a breath. And now to the left, inhale, exhale, continuous circle. Imagine you're stirring your leg through peanut butter. Peanut butter. Four, five. Six, how do the abdominals feel? They feel good. Seven, eight, are we alone? Nine, and 10, single straight leg stretch. 10 times, two pulses. We're gonna pulse, pulse, grab as high as you can on the leg. Switch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and that sets us up perfectly for single leg circles, other side. Line it up, hands here, or hands under the hips for more support. Let's go with the left first, because I grew up playing hockey right over there and I was left-handed. One, left wing, two, three, four, effortless, five. Stir that pot, six, seven, eight, nine, does that feel good? And 10, reset, <sighs> fix the pants, and let's go to the right, 10 times. One, two, in the nose and out the mouth. Three, four, five, we got it. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Beautiful, single straight leg stretch, 10 times. 
The second exhale takes you further into the stretch. Pulse, pulse, stretch. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stretching the backs of the legs. Eight, nine, and 10. Wait, let's do that. Pulse, there we go. Let's roll up to half boat pose for boat bikes. Boat bikes, boat bikes, here we go. Uneven ground, how about that? Shoulders back and down. Feet flat or bring the feet off the mat. This is half boat pose. We have the feet coming right out from the knees. The weight shifts into the core and we keep the chest open. Hands here or arms to the sides. 10 boat bikes, you're gonna bike forward 10 times. Here we go, one. Two, there's a stabilization. Three, four, five, delicious. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go backwards. I biked out here. Now I'm going to bike on the mat. Never stop. One, great for the joints. Two, three, four. This is the tricky one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, oh, grab the legs for a moment. Shoulders back and down, and then five breaths. Hold the half bone. This is a classic yoga pose. I like to incorporate it in with the core work, with the Pilates work. They fit so beautifully together. One more breath. Okay. Oh my goodness. Does that feel good? Let's come down for crisscross, also called the bicycle. Right knee and left leg out, fingers back of the head, grass off the body. 20 times, lift the chest towards the knee and then switch. So inhale, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let it burn, seven, eight, nine, 10. We're going to 20, we have 10 more in us. Stay lifted all the way through so the core engagement never stops, 14. 15, always fighting, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now reverse that crisscross 20 times. Right knee in, left leg out, elbow to the knee. Here we go. One, two, 20 times. Three, four, five, that's it. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Keep that lower back imprinted. Lower back, not, not what did I say, brack? Brack, brack, brack. 15, five more, 16, 17, is that feeling good? 18, 19, 20, woo wee, let's come up for the saw. We're gonna get a nice twist, build some rotational force here. Saw was always my dad's favorite exercise. I always like to do it and think about my dad. So bring the heels to the edges of the mat, shoulders are back and down. We're gonna do 10 repetitions, sitting up tall with the inhale. If you're more flexible, bring the legs wider. Twist to the right. Now take the pinky finger. You're gonna slice your pinky toe twice. Pulse, the second pulse takes you all the way in. Then inhale, lift tall. Lifting, lifting, and twisting to the other side. Here's two. Look to the back arm. Three. Mind over muscle. The mind sees it and the body does it. Four. Five. Such great humidity out here. Six. Don't have this in Colorado very much. Seven. Let's lift higher. Lift, lift, lift. Twist. And eight. And nine. And once more. Twist, twist, and lift, and pulse. Pulse. All right. We got to do it. One more exercise up here in this seated position. You can hold the half boat, hands on the legs, or feet down arms to the sides or do the boat with a twist 10 times this is more of an advanced Pilates move we're gonna exhale twist inhale center two one of my staples three a lot of progressive destabilization happening we keep adding we keep adding once your body gets acclimated we make it adapt even further with new movements new arms new legs new twists two more times <sighs> progressive destabilization. One of our favorite words. All right, bring it over into forearm plank position. 
the notes are just blowing all over the place. There we go. <laughs> We're going to do Pilates planks. Pilates planks. Say that fast. Five times. We'll do ten of these. Take the arms parallel with each other. Press the heels back. You're parallel to the ground. Take a couple deep breaths right here. Let's solidify that plank. Get the blood flowing. Get some circulation. Now the Pilates plank, you're going to press forward. Lace the fingers together. Touch the nose to the thumbs. And then back. Forward. Down. Squeeze the shoulders and the arms. Let's do ten total. Here's three. Inhale. Exhale. Don't let the thumb go up the nose. Five. <laughs> That's a tough one, isn't it? And six. Squeeze it out. There we go. Seven. Eight. Back. Nine. Oh, feel that on my shoulder. Ten. Okay, back. Let's switch to a reverse plank. We're moving into what we call leg kicks. Leg kicks, optional. Hands are on the shoulders. You can point the fingers towards you, away or behind. I like to go out to the outside. You figure that out, which one feels best for you. Lift up, lifting the hips, pointing the feet, heels together, zipping up the legs. Take it here for a moment. Feel how the weight shifts. It's shifting back now and also definitely into the heels. So keep engaging the tops of your legs, the tops of the thighs, your quads to stay lifted. We'll hold off on the kicks for just a moment. Take two more breaths here. Do this anywhere, anytime. Make sure you check in below. Let us know where you're training with us from. Where in the world? All right, bring it down. Spine stretch, reach up and over the toes, grab the toes or the feet or the ankles. Take two breaths. Smush the backs of the knees down. So this is a hinge. We take a hinge and then the reverse plank is a back bend. Great to do in tandem, do them back and forth. Keep your spine and back very loose. All right, once again, reverse plank with the option to do 10 kicks. Option to do 10 kicks. Hope we're still on camera here. So we're here. Now if you like, inhale up, exhale down. It's a kick, definitely is. To get that leg up there takes quite a bit of effort. Up, down. Three, four, we're going to 10. Five, six, how's that? Seven, eight, nine, 10. Lift, tall, drop the shoulders back, open the chest. And slowly come down, my friends. All right, just a couple more core Pilates exercises. Pilates core, let's switch the cap. So don't compromise with the bill of the cap. We're doing the breaststroke into a swim. Got it. All right. Work in the back. Long, lean muscles. Take the arms to the sides. We're going to do 10 of these. Shoulders back. Pointing the fingers and the feet back behind you. Lengthen the neck. Tuck the chin. Breaststroke 10 times. Here we go. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Reach. Open the legs. Exhale, pull, and there's one repetition. We're doing 10, here's two. Nice lift, long, lean, functional muscles. It's the Pilates body, very sought after body around the world. It's durable, it's aesthetic, it's functional, it can do things, and it's always wanting more. It's always yearning for a challenge so it can adapt under destabilization. Two more times. And once more, reach, pull, hold for an extra breath. Oh, and now we swim. Oh, I put my hands in the grass. Let's do 10. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. A little slow. In the nose, out to two. Going to 10. Three. Four, building that strong center. Support the spine. Help with your alignment, with your posture. Saving you a lot of energy when you're lifted from the center. My counting is terrible. I'm gonna do one more, one more. Lift, 
And now everything lifts into the Superman. Five breaths, we'll finish here and then stretch. A great total body, full Pilates workout in a short amount of time. Giving you that boost from the center. Okay. All right, just a few stretches here for the cool down. We start the last part of this routine. Take a few shoulder rolls here. Take some deep breaths. Want to keep that oxygen flooding through the muscles. And let's open up the abdominals. Come down, either forearms down here, shoulders back, lifting, or hands on the shoulders, cobra. We want to stretch the abdominals in the front side of the body. Or you could press all the way up. It's called upward facing dog. Elbows are in, shoulders are back, squeeze the glutes and the tops of the thighs. Four breaths. So you're getting a great stretch, a flex, an extension in the spine. And stretching also the hips, hip flexors, hip extenders, engaging the quads. All right, child's pose, knees wide. Stretch it back and let's sway it back and forth. Keeping the lower back very loose, very limber, encouraging blood flow to the lower back. And always big breaths, lots of breathing. In the nose, out the mouth. Think of saturating your muscles with the oxygen. Inhales and exhales, both equally important. do this all day. One more time, each side. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, right foot forward. Low lunge, hands down. We're going to rock it back and forth a few times. Going to give you a great stretch in your low back, your hamstrings, your quads, your hip flexors, and maybe even other spots in between. Because once we start incorporating new movements, new ones that we haven't done for a long time, maybe or maybe we've never done. Your body will give you lots and lots of feedback. You have to listen, feel how it starts to expand, how it opens up, how circulation improves. Let's do it two more times each way. There's a stretch and then lengthen back called runner's lunge right here. One more time each one. Here. Left foot forward and back and forth. Every time I film out here, you're at the mercy of whoever's doing the, the mowing. <laughs> but I do, I love to be outside. Being outside to me is like being a kid, being 10 years old again and going biking and running all day with my friends. So I like to do the same thing with my fitness. It's, uh, it's childhood a lot. It's playing. Fun. It's creative. It's uh, inspiring. Just being in the moment here under the beautiful blue sky is enough for me. All right, two more times. Once more, forward and back. Coming to a seated position. Excellent work, my friends. Let's uh, finish cross legged position. Take the arms up when you're ready. Slowly, slowly bring them up. And side bend, keeping the spine limber and long. It's good to finish your workouts tall, aligned, with good posture. All right, one more time each side. So that, uh, again, your energy levels are through the roof because you're not fighting gravity. You're not fighting bad posture. All right, arms up. Cactus arms, bend the elbows, pull the arms back, chest is open. And one more time, we got it, my friend. What a wonderful, wonderful full exercise with Melissa Bender and me, Sean Vig, also known as Coach Vig. We thank you so much. Bring the palms together. Exhale, hands coming down. And brilliant, brilliant workout, my friends. If this workout helped, please hit that like button, subscribe to never miss a workout. And in the about section below, you can learn much more about Melissa and I and how you could train with us anywhere at any time. But what a, what a fantastic workout.
amazing work. Keep coming back. Check in below and share it on. Ah, God bless you, my friends. See you next time.